We started as a small parochial school in 1912. Uh, Father Manuel Sauras, a Spanish Jesuit missionary, founded the school, Escuela Católica, Catholic school. During the pre-war days, it was in grade three. The building was at the former city theater. The playing field was Plaza Pershing. See, when, we, when I arrived here, the building was one half cement and uh, wood. It was just a quadrangle. Beside it was already the gym. When I arrived here, the gym was already a wooden gym. The, the usual uh, uh, tricks that uh, boys would normally do, like during the time we're in, it, it's recess time, and all of a sudden somebody shouts and everybody follows. The, the Jesuit seems to be very amused and uh, at what's happening because it's uh, normally it happens during recess time. When I was in grade school, it was still an all boys thing, and we were taught that it's supposed to be. We were supposed to be men for others. As a Jesuit institution, it stands for certain values that we hold dear. Uh, the primary value would be uh, the love of God, which is essential uh, in a Jesuit education. Whether you're a Christian or a Muslim, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the Ateneo should bring people to God. become part of each of our students, we would say that uh, these learnings also become part of what they are now and what they will become in the future. I can say that uh, we expect to see uh, students from Ateneo who are uh, loving, religious, intellectual, and giving of a service no, to others. The Ateneo education is really an education according to Ignatian ideals. And uh, traditionally, it's uh, expressed in terms of uh, eloquence, uh, wisdom, and uh, human experience. Young people uh, are open. They, uh, they see their fellow students as fellow students and they are willing to listen to them and to appreciate them as different from themselves. If we speak about Ateneo education, it has the fervent desire to actually form students on the core values of excellence, spirituality, and citizenship. And if we speak about student development, if you look at the student government in Ateneo, the Alconcel Ateneo State, it has been the fervent desire as well of the organization to actually be synonymous with the goal of the institution. I see Ateneo as a lighthouse and uh, its light that is beamed to the islands actually beckons the young people of those islands to uh, join 
in uh, a lifetime uh, journey of learning in the Ateneo community. I would say that, that the vision and the mission of the university uh, in comparison to the vision and mission of the medical school is uh, close to each other. The original thing I mentioned about faculty development was not thinking of a university status. It was just thinking of making the Ateneo a very good school, grade school, high school, college graduate school. Ateneo then is not simply a name or a brand that we are very familiar with. It's not simply the, the building that we find here in La Purisima or in Tumaga. Uh, much more than that, the Ateneo is really a community of persons who strive hard to follow the inspiration of St. Ignatius, the founder of the Jesuits. For a university, whose vision and mission includes peace and development, I believe Region 9 is the perfect place for the school to be in. And uh, you become a part of a living uh, community that is uh, caring, open, inviting, inclusive, and ecumenical. We're not perfect. Uh, we're not the only university in the city or the only university in Mindanao. But uh, those who have gone to the university and who've made a uh, their mark there have made a mark uh, in the city in the world. I would say that I am probably the proudest of all the graduates of the medical school to be a product of this school. what the Ateneo is all about. We say that we try to live 100 years of excellence, of spirituality, of citizenship. This is who we are. And we hope that the next decade, or the next decades if you like, or even the next century, will be in keeping with that kind of tradition. The Ateneo does not exist for itself. It is not uh, a castle that one can just stay here and enjoy life, but must necessarily connect to the wider society. Forever, we shall march for the cause. March for the things that we believe, the things that we hold dear. Forever, will the blue blood stir as beacons of light, as envoys of hope, and the dark of night, as living testaments of the century past, as wards of the blue and the white. We move on for our cause, excellence, spirituality, and citizenship. We will remember!